Hi everyone, I'm Jerry and I was just sent this lovely looking exercise bike with a 17 pound flywheel that comes really well packaged and what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut apart the packaging and show you what's inside and then we're going to put it together and put it to the test. So we've got it unboxed. It does come with a few pieces, but it seems to be pretty easy to put together. It does come with a nice instruction guide that explains everything pretty thoroughly in here. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is put on the base feet that have wheels on there so that this thing can easily roll to any particular location that you're going to go. The main unit of the bike seems to be built very sturdy. It does have the adjustable pieces for the arms, which we're going to put on there as well. And it does have an adjustable seat back. Uh, all of it looks like it'd be pretty easy to put together. There's very few actual like bolts that you need to use to put together. It does come with a few of those as well as the provided Allen wrenches, which are these little tools here to help tighten anything down. So that is very good. So we're gonna go ahead and get this whole thing put together and then we're gonna show you how it works. So we've got this thing assembled. Very pretty sturdy bike. Uh, it does have a lot of neat features like it does have your ability to test your pulse so you can put your hands on there. The screen that's here uh, it does allow you to have your calories, you have your speed if you're moving along here with this flywheel. It does have the time. So it's got a lot of different features that are on there. All those features you can scroll through there. It does have a nice uh, cell phone holder, so if you had a phone or wanting to watch a show or an iPad or something, this part can slide off. It just is clipped into the back if you had a larger screen that you're wanting to use, or you could just use a phone if you're wanting to do that so it's nice holds your phone really steady there it's an iphone 14 pro max just locks right in there like that uh, again if you had an ipad this piece here slips up and off and you could put a bigger screen in there this is padded throughout here and it does have the arm pieces if you're going to be leaning forward you can grip a hold of that like that this is fully uh, adjustable as far as the uh, adding tension to your flywheel you're going to turn it right to add more more resistance, you're gonna go left to take it off, and then of course if you push on it, it's gonna stop. So that function is pretty pretty standard. It does have the uh, straps that you can strap your feet into these little pieces here uh, as well. And then it's got the height adjustment for your, for your seat, as well as for the handrails. Now I'm six foot two and about 185 pounds. I have this set to the maximum height setting on both the seat and the armrest so if you are a smaller frame person or maybe you're only five foot five and need to adjust this down you certainly can do that uh, and you can kind of gauge based off of that uh, it's a fairly lightweight bike i'm going to go ahead and pick it up for you and kind of show you it's not real heavy but if you're not strong enough or you're a little older maybe have some weaker back weaker knee issues or whatever uh, it does have some convenient wheels located on the front so you can tilt it up and then you can just use this to just maneuver this around the room uh, wherever it is that you need to. And then when it goes back down, it goes away from those wheels and does rest on these uh, pads on the bottom. They are a suction cup kind of a pad um, on the bottom and can have some minor adjustments there. Uh, very sturdy, seems to hold really well. The seat's really comfortable, very springy. It does have a nice spring in the seat and the seat is adjustable. Not only can you adjust it here to slide it forward and back, up and down, but you also can take the provided wrench and adjust the actual angle of the seat. So I've kind of got this one set. I adjusted it for my liking, a little more like a typical bike seat. If you're wanting it to be more of like a sport seat that's tilted forward because you're going to be leaning forward on it because you're practicing for the Tour de France or whatever, you can tilt that forward and that'd be fine too. But again, 17 pound flywheel holds about 268 pounds, uh, a really nice bike.